A dog named Bolinia had astutely picked up on subtle cues indicating her owner's declining health. When the woman eventually passed away, Bolinia performed something so extraordinary during the funeral that will astonish you. Telma, the owner, gripped the steering wheel so tightly that the blood drained from her knuckles. Following three weeks of tests that left her both fatigued and disheartened, the doctor had just delivered the diagnosis. In a daze, she walked out of his office, fully aware that her world had irrevocably changed. Everything would now be different. She would undergo the suggested treatments, but with no guarantees. The doctor had emphasized the aggressive and advanced stage of the cancer. It was a nightmare that had only just begun. However, unbeknownst to Telma, this harrowing journey had begun weeks earlier for Bolinia. Her boxer dog. Bolinia had been unusually restless for months, experiencing the world through doggy time and senses. She started detecting strange odors emanating from Telma well before the hospital visit. Initially faint. These odors came and went. But they grew stronger over time. Now. These alarming smells were a constant presence around her owner. Bolinia. Unable to comprehend why these smells distressed her so much. Couldn't communicate her instincts to Telma. All she knew was that the sense from her beloved human signaled something terribly wrong and dangerous. As Telma pulled into her driveway, she could see Bolinia jumping against the door handle, through the glass slit in the front door. For a moment, everything felt right in Telma's world. Their bond went beyond the physical, making them inseparable. This pleasant thought, however, brought an overwhelming wave of sadness to Telma. Contemplating what would happen to Bolinia if she lost the battle and passed away. The dog was as devoted to her as any creature could be to another. Creating a poignant sense of concern for their inseparable connection. In her mind's eye, Telma envisioned Bolinia deteriorating. Refusing to eat and eventually succumbing to a broken heart, moistening her eyes at the thought. She wiped them with the back of her hand, urging herself to stay strong. The fight for her life was ahead, and she knew she would have to dig deep, summoning all her courage. From where she lay on the couch, Bolinia heard the car turn the corner up the street. Like a whirlwind, she streaked to the front door, pawing at the handle with fervor. Observing Telma walking towards the door, Bolinia sensed her owner's unhappiness from her slightly slumped shoulders and body language. As the door opened, and Telma embraced her, Bolinia picked up the ominous smell again, unsettling her deeply. She licked Telma's ear, nuzzled her neck, and emitted little whimpers conveying that she sensed something was dreadfully wrong. What Bolinia couldn't comprehend was that her remarkable olfactory abilities had detected Telma's cancer long before the doctor's diagnosis. Her capacity to pick up on subtle cues also informed her. When Telma felt anxious, sad, or stressed, unbeknownst to her, over the next months, she would often witness her beloved owner in a bad mood. Much time had passed since the day Telma had come. Home shaking. Some days were good. Filled with energy and play. Despite the lingering smells. On these days. Bolinia felt a sense of reassurance. Yet. There were other days when Telma would do nothing but. Lie on the couch, sleep and watch television. Days that triggered Bolinia's instincts. Signaling danger in the air. Bolinia couldn't fully understand. 
but she knew it had something to do with the smells. When Telma's husband was at work Bolinia would sit at the end of the couch, never taking her eyes off her owner. Whether she was asleep or awake, attuned to the subtle shifts in the air, Paulina followed Telma and patiently waited at the door, until she re-emerged. During moments when Telma struggled to maintain her, balance on the way back to the couch, Bolinia leaned against her, providing support with his shoulder. New odors emanated from Telma, and they frightened Bolinia even more. They were pungent, overwhelming, and distinct from the previous ones she had detected. Unbeknownst to Bolinia, she was the only one who could sense these ominous signs. To the rest of the world, they didn't exist. Telma was unaware that Bolinia had picked up on these harbingers of doom. Additionally, Telma had spoken to the doctor the day before and further tests had revealed that the cancer had spread to her pancreas, liver, lungs, and spine. The realization that she wasn't going to make it had settled in, and she had to find a way to make peace with that. While her husband knew, Telma still had to break the news to her two sons that I in the passing weeks. Telma seemed to lose interest in everything around her. She didn't even bother to turn on the TV anymore and spent more time in bed than on the couch. The only remaining source of happiness for her was her beloved dog. Even in her weakest moments, she could pat Bolinia's head or stroke her ears, shedding a few tears at the thought of parting with her forever. Unfortunately, this separation was looming sooner than expected. On a Thursday at 3 a.m., Bolinia woke up and instantly sensed that something was different. Telma was there, yet she wasn't. Uncertain of what to do, the dog tried to nuzzle her awake. But to no avail, Bolinia pushed the door open and went down the corridor. To the room where Telma's husband was sleeping. He woke up when she licked his face and immediately sensed that something was wrong. Bolinia dashed back to Telma's room. Her husband following. Still half asleep. In Telma's bedroom. He attempted to wake her up but soon desisted. Bolinia watched as he burst into tears. Gently stroking Telma's forehead and hugging her. He then kissed her and turned to Bolinia. Embracing the dog and breaking into uncontrollable sobs. The days that followed were strange and confusing for Bolinia. Especially when they came to retrieve Telma's body. She attempted to halt them. Where were they taking her, she wondered. Then, the house transformed into an unfamiliar place. More people came and went. A constant hum of activity. Bolinia could sense the profound sadness that permeated the atmosphere. She moved restlessly between the living room and Telma's bedroom, as if checking for her owner's return. Where was Telma? When was she coming back? It was a puzzle she couldn't fully comprehend. A few days later, men returned with a large wooden box and placed it in the living room. Bolinia immediately knew Telma was inside the box trying to jump up to look inside. She found the lid closed. So, she made herself a place underneath the coffin and stayed there day and night until the wake concluded. She didn't eat. Even when Telma's husband placed her food bowl beside her under the coffin, Bolinia lay there during the funeral, not budging even when the priest began the ceremony. As people came to pay their respects, Bolinia would get up and guide them to the coffin. As if still protecting her owner, she wouldn't allow anyone to approach Telma. Without her presence, she even jumped up with her four paws on the coffin. When someone came too close for her liking, many cried witnessing the ever-loyal dog guarding her. 
human even after her passing. Offering a comforting pat to Bolinia before leaving. After the funeral, the family took her to Telma's grave so the ultimate caregiver dog could say her goodbyes. Through the last months of Telma's life, Bolinia had provided unbelievable support and comfort, in ways that nobody and nothing else could. Her best friend was now gone forever. But the love she had felt for her would never vanish. It's a heartbreaking story. Did you know that dogs can pick up the scent of many human illnesses? How would you react to seeing such a loyal dog at its human's funeral? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video. The dog was lying there very anxiously. It didn't know what it was going to face. And the strange environment made it feel very uneasy. However, when it saw the person waiting for it not far away, everyone was shocked and moved by it. In the end what happened? It is said that the relationship between people is the most touching. The relationship between dogs and their human. Partners sometimes even transcends distance and time. No matter how long they have not seen each other. They will never forget their masters. Just like the dogs in the following story. Which is extremely moving. When Sergeant Hansen first met the Labrador. He didn't realize he would form a special bond with the dog. The dog named Tyra is a trained bomb-sniffing dog. Whose job it is to find dangerous items such as. Ammunition or explosives from weapons and vehicles. This is not the first time they have been on a mission together. They were sent to Iraq together once. And now they are going to Afghanistan to perform missions. During their first mission together. The pair were still getting to know each other. They were assigned to Special Forces Unit 11 and ordered. To search a mountain pass. 20 minutes into the mission. Tyra's behavior changed. Hansen knew that meant Tara had smelled something. But it kept wandering around instead of pinpointing. Where it was. The soldiers became dejected. And Hansen walked up to Tyra. Who suddenly saw a dangerous weapon buried within. A foot of his feet. From that day on. Hansen learned to always trust his partner. And that trust slowly turned into a very special bond. That helped them out of danger time and time again. During this mission. Tara smelled a trap set by the rebels. When they clashed. Hansen asked his partner Tara to cover in front. After the mission Hansen gave Tara a reward. And he thanked Tara for her intuition and sense of. Smell that kept him alive. In fact. Before Tyra became his partner. He was directly diagnosed with concussions several times. If Tyra hadn't joined in later. Their task would not have been so easy and smooth. After two deployments to Afghanistan. Hansen left his current team. But he wanted Tyra to go with him. Knowing that when dogs leave duty. Their first partner is usually the first choice to adopt them. Right, however, when Hansen arrived home. Another trainer happened to need a capable bomb-sniffing dog. So Hansen's partner needed to keep working. Separation was hard for Hansen to accept. Especially since Tyra saved his life. Many times. They were like important family members. In each other's life. And he didn't know if he would have the chance to see it again. After leaving the team, Hansen returned to a base in the United States, where he met a female field doctor who had served with him in Afghanistan. Although their base was far away, they eventually got engaged and formed new family. But Hansen has never forgotten his old partner Tyra. Two years later, Tyra was 10 years old. And Hansen was very happy when she reached the age of retirement. 
he submitted an application to take her home. But it was not that easy. According to regulations, the soldiers must pay all the expenses during the transportation of Tara, but Hansen didn't have that much money. Fortunately, a kind stewardess helped him. The stewardess went to the place where Tyler was, placed and brought it on the plane. Along the way, Tyler was very anxious. She didn't know where she would be taken and what would meet her. At this time, her mind the time with Hansen reappeared in it. And it missed him very much. After several hours of journey, they finally arrived at their destination. Hansen was waiting at the airport. When Tara saw the figure he had been thinking about day and night, he ran over madly. Gathering makes everyone around me very moved. Hansen looked at Tyra who was running towards him and burst into tears instantly. He couldn't believe that Tyra, who hadn't seen him for two years, still remembered him. They have never forgotten each other, which is really touching. After returning home, Tara has been following Hansen, unwilling to leave Hansen for a moment. It knows it's finally home. Although Tyra is very old, Hansen always spends most of his time with Tyra. They run on the grass and nap on the sofa together. Hansen often takes Tara for walks. He wants to give Tyra the best possible retirement life. So that his closest partner can spend the rest. Of his life happily. Animals also have feelings. Although we can't understand their language. Their actions give us a new understanding of animals. Let's take a look at the second story together. The protagonist of the story is a dog named Bailey. One day, he heard the owner's mother calling him downstairs. So he ran down quickly. But when he ran to the living room and came to the owner's mother, it suddenly smelled a very strange smell. It began to vigilantly look around for the source of the smell. The moment it turned around, it found a strange woman standing at the door. Bailey ran to the strange woman. It didn't notice any malice in the woman. But it still avoided the woman's hands that wanted to hug it. And carefully sniffed the woman's hand. The woman looked at the dog and couldn't help touching it. However. The dog suddenly backed away and yelled at the. Woman a few times. Warning her not to move. The woman slowly opened her palms towards the dog and then squatted down. Bailey smelled it carefully for a long time before, realizing that the smell belonged to his owner. He got into the woman's arms excitedly and licked her a few times. The woman calling Bailey's name with a familiar voice made Bailey very excited. He finally saw the owner he had been thinking about day and night. In fact, this dog has been living with the owner's parents for a year. Bailey's owner was unable to take care of it because he was going on a mission. So he had to give it to his parents. But none of them expected that this mission would take so long. A year has passed. And now she came back after completing the mission. And secretly discussed with her mother to give Bailey a surprise. So the next day. They planned this surprise reunion. Bailey wagged his tail excitedly and then rushed over to hug his master. Because of his excitement, he threw his master who was squatting on the ground down. Bailey was really happy. He thought about his master almost every day. After making out with his master, he suddenly ran towards the toy box behind him and took out something. After seeing what was in the dog's mouth, the owner could no longer hold back his tears. The dog was biting the toy ball they used to play with, which was his favorite toy. Bailey bit the toy ball and ran around in front of the owner, just like playing with the owner before. In fact, 
The relationship between humans and animals is not only pure, but also extremely sincere. After reading the above stories, it is not difficult to find that the dog's relationship with people will not change with time. As long as you give it love, it will give you absolute loyalty. Born equal, please take good care of animals and love them. Well, this is the end of this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. So see you next time.